In the mid-Jurassic period over 166 million years ago, the first dinosaur to ever be named roamed ancient England. This carnivore had a long and low snout, scaly skin, and robust clawed arms. This was Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus was a carnivorous theropod, possessing a medium to large body size, ranging 20 feet to 30 feet in length. Its weight was around one ton. Although this dinosaur was not as massive as some of its more renowned counterparts like the T-Rex or Spinosaurus, it was still amongst the largest middle Jurassic theropods. Studies of its bone structure suggest it had a robust build and was likely heavily muscled. Its skull was particularly solid, and limited skull findings indicate it was unusually large compared to its body hinting at an incredibly powerful jaw capable of inflicting devastating bites. Its mouth housed long, dagger-like teeth designed to rip through prey flesh with ease. The Megalosaurus also had short yet stout and strong arms, possibly with three digits. It's theorized that these robust arms could have been used for gripping or slashing prey, causing swift cuts. On the other hand, its legs, although sturdy, weren't as robust as those of some relatives like the Torvosaurus, a close kin of the Megalosaurus. These two theropods were members of the Megalosauridae family, aptly named after the Megalosaurus. This family consisted of nine members, all of which were relatively primitive compared to subsequent theropods and were identified by their lower and longer skulls. This family had a broad geographic distribution across the globe. However, the Megalosaurus was exclusive to what is now England. While potential species of Megalosaurus have been discovered outside of England, none can be definitively identified as Megalosaurus. 166 million years in the past, England was dramatically different from its present state, characterized by lush, tropical landscapes. The Megalosaurus resided in areas that seemed to have been overrun with ferns and ginkgos. Its habitat was positioned near water bodies and there's evidence that some megalosaurus may have dwelled on islands. The environment was teeming with a diverse range of life forms. Other dinosaur species sharing their existence with the megalosaurus included the sauropods Cardiodon and Cetosaurus, as well as Stegosaurus. It's thought that the megalosaurus preyed on both the sauropods and the Stegosaurus. Despite its powerful physical attributes, hunting wasn't always straightforward for the megalosaurus as inferred from fractured bones found in its specimens, the fractures were at the top of its ribs, where they articulated with the vertebrae likely resulting from encounters with herbivores. The fractures indicate blunt force trauma, but Megalosaurus also would have had to deal with competition from other Megalosauruses as well as other predators, which would have inflicted cutting wounds. Other theropods, specifically Iliosuchus, Cruxicatos, and Streptospondylus, also lived alongside the Megalosaurus. The latter two were similar in size to Megalosaurus, but there's no evidence that they preyed on each other, suggesting they each occupied their own distinct niches. Unfortunately, we don't have enough material to have estimates for its speed or how it moved, but if we assumed it was somewhat standard for its size, 35 or more miles per hour is not out of the question. Additionally, there are not accurate estimates for bite force. But given its size and robustness, 3.5 to 4,000 newtons is not unreasonable. Megalosaurus was more prevalent and widely distributed than its theropod competition, suggesting to paleontologists that it was a dominant species of its era. Dinosaurs weren't the sole creatures thriving in England during this period. A variety of fish, pterosaurs, insects, and cynodonts were also present. It's plausible that Megalosaurus may have hunted these non-dinosaur animals, but no definitive proof of this has yet been unearthed. Megalosaurus was indeed a remarkable creature, and of course not just because of its physical attributes. This dinosaur was of course the first genus of dinosaur to be validly named, which means it has been on paleontologists' radar for quite some time. In fact, the earliest fossil attributed to this genus was discovered as far back as the 1600s, unearthed in the Tainton limestone formation situated in present-day UK. The first bone discovered was the lower part of its femur, but since scientists at the time had no knowledge of dinosaurs, it was initially believed to belong to a Roman war elephant and later thought to come from a biblical giant. 
This belief persisted until the early 1800s when new fossils were found and sent to paleontologist William Buckland. With the assistance of fellow paleontologists, he deduced that it was actually a massive lizard-like creature, which he estimated to be around 40 feet in length and standing 8 feet tall. In 1824, Buckland formally named and described the Megalosaurus. However, this interpretation was somewhat odd. Buckland believed the Megalosaurus was a lizard-like quadruped that was also amphibious, able to traverse both land and sea. Additionally, he increased his size estimate for the dinosaur, giving it an estimate more than one-third larger than his initial estimate. Furthermore, it was clear that the Megalosaurus was a carnivore based on the shape of its teeth. As a religious person, Buckland claimed that the Megalosaurus fulfilled a biblical role by ending the lives of old and ill animals to, in his words, diminish the total amount of animal suffering. The perception of Megalosaurus didn't hold up as additional dinosaur fossils were progressively uncovered. Even before the turn of the 19th century, paleontologists deduced that it was probably bipedal and not as large as initially believed. Throughout the 20th and early 21st centuries, even more specimens were located, with one site having 103. Our current understanding is very different thanks to advancements in the field of paleontology and the new discoveries. Currently, there's only one recognized species of Megalosaurus, Megalosaurus bucklandi. Though other species have been suggested, none have been universally accepted due to the scarcity of fossil evidence. Despite the substantial number of specimens found, much of its skeleton remains unknown, with vertebrae and skull bones being particularly rare, leading to uncertainty about its physical appearance. In 2010, a paleontologist attempted to reconstruct Megalosaurus using all known body parts. This resulted in the modern perception of this beast. Megalosaurus was a fascinating creature and holds an incredibly important place in the history of paleontology. Hopefully more specimens are discovered of this creature so we can learn more about its lifestyle and biology. If you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any thoughts make sure to leave them in the comments. Have a great day everyone.